suspect vehicle appeared to be a, a reddish maroon four-door sedan with tinted windows outlined with chrome or silver. Vehicle passed by once and then circled again and let off some shots. The video footage shows that Shannon... Well, without saying any names... It, it's fine. It's fine, Your Honor. Okay. All right. <laughs> So if you know that one witness is going to be testifying somewhere else, then make arrangements to have, I think, that maybe Miss Hilton out there. So let's just get that next witness out. Is yes. the next witness ready? Okay, bring the next witness in. Y'all said. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had and, and see and, and you, well, coming up to you stand can, if you, you don't do, mind. So you, I went and, you and they uh they you know we were um and see, got the, um, you know, they're trying to get the other one, but the first one wasn't ready. So then the third one, they they had to go to the bathroom. And, you know, this one's cool, but- uh, Ryan McGovern. You know, you know what I'm saying? R-Y-A-N-M-C-G-O-V-E-R-N. Good morning, Mr. McGovern. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, what type of work do you do? I work at Consolidated Engineering Company. And how long have you been with Consolidated Engineering Company? Um, about five years. Take those Prior glasses off your pocket, sir. Consolidated Engineering Company, where did you work? Um, I uh, had a few different jobs. I was doing uh, rental property uh, management and some construction work and prior to that I worked in law enforcement. Okay. And when you worked in law enforcement, um what law enforcement agency did you work for? I worked for Atlanta Police in Sandy Springs. Okay. When did you work for Atlanta Police Department? Uh, roughly from about 09 to 2015. And when you were working for the Atlanta Police Department, um did you work in a specific zone? Yes, zone 3 primarily. Okay. What year did you work in zone 3? Um, pretty much my whole career, uh, but towards the beginning, I, I was on a crime suppression team that would bounce around from zone to zone. When you were in zone three, did you serve solely as a patrol officer? Getting that contractor uh, money. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And briefly, what him. were some of your job duties and responsibilities when you were working as a patrol officer in zone three? Uh, respond to 911 calls for service and, um, do reports. I want to take you to 2015, specifically January and September of 2015. Were you working in zone three during that time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Specifically, I want to take you to January 19th, 2015. Did you have the occasion to respond to 807 Prior Street Southeast? Yes. And why did you respond to that location? There was a shooting. Okay. And... What happened once you arrived at that location? Um, I spoke with a... And are you looking at something? Uh, my police report. Okay. Would looking at your police report help refresh your memory as to what occurred back on January 19, 2015? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, what I'm going to ask of you to do is if you... Ha and if Does anyone want to see the, his report that he's looking at? <coughs> What I'm going to ask of you to do is just look down at your report and once your memory is refreshed, then testify from your memory, okay? Yes, ma'am. Right. Um, where did you respond to? Uh, 807 Prior Street. Okay. And do you recall if you respond to that location with any other officer? Uh, officer Fagan. Okay. And was Officer Fagan a partner of yours or was she just some, he or she someone that just responded with you to the scene? Uh, at the time, he was just somebody that had responded to this particular call. Okay. What occurred once you arrived? I uh, located the victim. He stated that he had been shot. Was that immediate upon getting to the scene? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, was he? Did he appear to be in distress from being shot? Yes, he had said he had been I shot. I had an objection. All right, and, so overruled on that objection. Go ahead. Go ahead. And. Um, he had been uh, grazed in the back. Okay. Do you recall what location he was at? Was he able to tell you where he was when he was shot? 
Um, I don't. Objection. Okay. We'll take a look at your report, help refresh your memory as to where he was or where you interacted with him at. I'm sorry. Uh, 197 Hendricks. And once you spoken with him, um, did you see that he was grazed on his back? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Once you spoke with him, what did you do? Um, I called for an ambulance. Okay. And did an ambulance ever come? Um, yes. And when the ambulance came, what did you do? Uh, followed him to the hospital and then spoke with him there. All right. And once speaking with him at the hospital, did you ever return to the scene? Did you ever return back to 807 prior? I don't believe so. Okay. Let me, as we're looking at anything, help refresh your memory as to whether or not you returned back to 807 prior. Uh, yes. Permission to approach? You may. <laughs> he said five times speed. God dang, Mike. <laughs> Yes, I did return to the location. And when you returned, um, what did you do? Um, I met back with uh, Officer Fagan, okay. and I gave him some new information regarding Terrence Reese. All right. Now and we had a great witness. Was Officer Fagan the primary officer one, yeah. for the crime for the actual incident location? Yes, ma'am. All right. And after reporting back to um, Officer Fagan, what? The information that you learned from Mr. Reese, did that conclude your involvement as it related to this case? Yes, ma'am. All right. I want to transition you to September 13th, 2015. Were you still working with Zone 3 in September of 2015? Yes. Okay. And in September 2015, did you have the occasion to respond to 322 Glen Street Southwest? Um, I don't recall. Okay. Um, oh man, everybody's got little Woody disease. I gotta stop saying that. Yeah, I got to stop saying little Woody disease, when it's the, especially when it's the guys. And why did you respond to that location? Little Woody um, syndrome. There was a shots fired call. Johnny and still doesn't when work. When you respond to that location, what, if anything, did you do? Kenneth Copeland disease. Um, maybe. I met with the uh, <clears throat> the caller. It was, um, there had been a, a, a green store that was uh struck in multiple places okay and had you ever been to that store previously yes we visited there frequently okay and were you familiar with the store itself yes right. i mean this was 10 years ago so they probably don't recall to be honest yeah loki said it <clears throat> Triple D E to five triple D E. Tell me if you recognize whether in one 
triple DE to five triple DE. I remember. Take your time, brother. Yes, I remember uh, responding to this location. Okay. And is that a fair and accurate depiction of the green store um, that you responded to back in September of 2015? Yes, ma'am. You're on this time the state would like to tender Stacey exhibit one triple DE to five triple DE into evidence. All right, those are admitted. Okay. Permission to publish. You may. Now, um, Windsor and Glen Street, what's depicted in one triple DE, is that a location um, within zone three? Yes, ma'am. All right. Go, looking at two, two triple DE, what is depicted in two triple DE? Uh, that's the green store that was shot up. Okay. Not the green and store. Oh, it's, gosh. It's three triple DE, four triple DE. And five triple DE, just different angles of the green store. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Miss Hilton. Jeez. Once you arrived on scene, did you um, see the, any of the defects that were inside of um, inside of the green store or outside the green store? Excuse me. Yeah, there were bullet holes. All right. It's like a couple up there. Was there any other damage to anything else at the store? I'm sure the green store had a bunch of gunshots in it. Uh, yeah, I think, um, look at my report, a, a vehicle was struck as well. And what type of vehicle was struck? Uh, a silver Chevy Malibu. Okay. And once you observe both the building, the defects of the building and the car, what, if anything, did you do while on scene? Uh, we roped off a crime scene and um, notified supervisors and uh, evidence was collected, okay. uh, shell casings. Without um, telling what anyone said, did you speak with any witnesses while you were on scene? Um, yes, a, a Miss Arnold. And was she able to provide you some information about a potential victim in this case? Yes. And did she give you a name of the potential victim? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for your sin. Sustained. Were you able to watch video surveillance of what occurred? Yes, uh, there was some video footage. And were you, were you shown the video sur surveillance footage? Yes. And did you put in your report what you saw in that video surveillance This guy's footage? be breathing yes, hard, man. What was, what was on the video surveillance footage that you saw? Um, it appeared to be a, a drive-by shooting uh, with Shannon as the intended target. Can we see it? Um, suspect vehicle appeared to be a, a reddish maroon four-door sedan with tinted windows outlined with chrome or silver. Vehicle passed by once and then circled again and let off some shots. The video footage shows that Shannon. Well, without saying any names. It, it's fine. It's fine, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Continue. Um, uh, shows that she, <laughs> Shannon fled the scene and did not appear to have been shot, although it's possible could have been hit with debris of the broken windows. Okay. And. At any point, did you try to determine if anyone had gone to the hospital, if there were any victims that went to the hospital? Um, uh, Grady Hospital was notified of the incident, but there was no shooting victims. That well, he's just reading. Came around at about that time. Did you ever call out any crime scene techs to come and collect the evidence from this? <laughs> Sandy thought it was me breathing hard. <laughs> Um, come on, Sandy. I got the nice mic. I don't have those Fulton County 
trash microphone. Yes. Y'all couldn't hear me and breathing if I wanted to. Who was the crime scene tech that you had come out to the scene to collect evidence? Uh, um, me. um, unit Pebbles and unit Moore, um, 7324 and 7340. And after, um, calling out crime scene, would that have concluded your involvement in this case? Yes, ma'am. All right. Court's indulgence. What was the case number assigned to, I'll first ask you about the case that we're on, the September 13th, 2015 case. What is that case number? And, I'm sorry, the incident number. Oh, um, <laughs> y'all can't hear me breathe. 15256-2008-00. Oh, thank you. And then for the incident from January 19th, 2015, what is that incident date? Uh, 15019 All right. Court's indulgence. Now, I always hate to say this. Because you know what happens after I do. But Miss Hilton's on the roll right now. All right. She thank came you. ready Any and prepared. Questions? All right. Nobody wants to talk to him. Oh, if it's anybody, it's Max. Yep, there's Max. Good morning, Officer McGovern. Good morning. My name is Max Shard. I represent Shannon Stillwell. Mike, Max. Come on now. I know you see that green light isn't on. You responded to the green store on September 13th, 2015, correct? Correct. Correct. Now, you spoke to some witnesses about these shots fired, and you learned that there was a car that drove by, and someone had shot at a shin, correct? Um, correct. Um, I don't recall. I'm sorry. Come on, Max. Sorry, I don't mic, remember. Please. Could you look at the pictures of that green store? Is there a sign? Is there a signage that indicates? You said, can you look at a picture the of the green of store? The name of the store. Um, Thank you. It says, well, it's partially busted out, but uh, neighborhood grocery, I assume, is what it says. Okay. 322 Glen Street. All right, great. And did you... Um, after speaking to Miss Arnold, did you or surveillance video at this green store? Yes, sir. Okay. And why did you look for surveillance video? Um, I assume it would just be standard procedure to gather as much evidence as possible. Okay. Surveillance video doesn't lie, does it? No, sir. All right. You thought it was very important as part of your investigation into this this incident to obtain that surveillance video, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you spoke sure. to a Maricelis Ayuso, is that correct? Um, oh, Max about to get him. Yes. Okay, do you know her as mommy? No. Okay, but she was the owner of the store? Mm-hmm, me too, yes. Elijah. Okay, and you asked her if they had surveillance video, correct? Yes. She, in fact, showed you the surveillance video of this incident, correct? 
Yes. The surveillance video was working on 9-13-2015, correct? Correct. It was available, correct? Yes. Ms. Ayuso was cooperative with you, correct? She didn't make you go get a search warrant or go through any legal process. She showed you the video, correct? That's correct. And you watched the video? I assume so. Well, did, in your report, do you describe the video? Yes. Okay. Well, you wouldn't have described what was on the video if you didn't watch it, would you? Probably not. Okay. Um, and while you don't know anyone's name from the video, I mean, right, you don't know anyone's name from the video, you confirmed that there was a man that appeared to be getting shot at that ran away from the scene. Mm -hmm. And you weren't sure if that person was shot or not. Correct. Did it appear to you that people were shooting at him? Stop it. Overruled. Shut up. From reviewing the video, did it appear that people were shooting at him? Yeah, yeah, overruled. Um, Relax, lady. Uh, the video footage. Uh, the video footage uh, led me to believe at the time that that Shannon was the intended target. Okay, and How the video footage Shannon? it didn't show Shannon committing any crimes. No. Okay. It didn't show Shannon shooting any weapons. Mm -mm. That's a no for the record? Uh, yes. No. No, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't have any further questions. Yes, sir. Anybody else? That's Oops. it? What? No. Any redirect? You were just asked about the surveillance video. Do you know, sitting here today, how long that store had surveillance video footage? Uh, no. Do you know, sitting here today, how long that camera kept surveillance video footage? Mm, no, ma'am. Do you know if the Green Store had surveillance footage back in January of 2015? Um... Uh, I, I don't think so. I, I'm not sure. You're not sure. I'm not sure. Thank you. No further questions. All right. Okay. You got a little back and forth here. Use the microphone this time, please, Max. Do you have any recollection of visiting the green store in January of 2015? I actually do. Um, yeah, these questions are weak. It, the pictures kind of jog my memory. I just remember there being uh, a shooting there, and I remember uh, roping off some crime scene tape and uh, and going around asking questions to people. It was, you know, nine years ago, I believe. Who 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 is the target of that shooting? Do you have that report with you? Um. Which which report are you referring to? This thing nine years ago, January two thousand fifteen. Um. Uh. Well, I mean, they were they were both a, a long time ago. I guess. I mean, they're. I mean, but do you have a report you from January two thousand fifteen with you? Um. Yeah, there's Dad. one report I have from January. Could I see no. it? Uh, sure. That you um you had you 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 could. There was another report from September of twenty fifteen. Okay, this report from January two thousand fifteen is at eight oh seven Prior Street. Correct. It says I, Officer McGovern, was dispatched to a shooting call at eight oh seven Prior Street. Uh -oh, yes, sir. What happened? Okay, so that's not the Green Store. No, no, no. Okay. They're both nine years ago. I'm just just saying it was a long time ago. That's all I'm saying. I understand it's a long time ago, but you're not this. I visited a location in January 2015. As you're recalling, you're just referring to this this 
document that the DA's office gave you, correct? Yeah, that's my police report. Okay, and this is, but you visiting 807 Prior Street, not the green store. No, no, the green store is this one. Right, and that was September 13th, 2015, correct? Correct. Okay, so I'm asking, just to clear this up, do you have any recollection of... Uh-oh. You don't have any recollection of visiting the green store in January 2015. You're referring to Prior Street. No, no, I, I have a recollection of visiting the green store uh, for a shooting, whatever month or date it was, I, I don't recall. Okay, so you have no idea what... As some time of a, as a police officer, you visited the green store before, other than this, this other than so annoyed. September 13, 2015. Well, I, I remember more than just visiting. I mean, we visited it quite frequently, uh, but I remember that particular store had gotten shot up, and I remember roping off some crime scene tape and interviewing some people. Okay. All right. Ooh, um, Max making them look like a you, fool. I'm going back to September 13, 2015. Mm -hmm. When you sought out the surveillance and mm -hmm. obtained the surveillance, you thought it was important enough to put that information in your report, correct? Yes, sir. And you did put it in your report, correct? Yes, sir. 